Welcome everyone to Avada's Cloud Webinar Series. My name is Deb Bryant. I'm the Marketing Coordinator at Avada and I will be facilitating the webinar. Today we're presenting the third webinar in our series where we'll take a look at the journey from VCP to FCM Cloud. Presenting for you today are Dwayne Hardiker, Managing Partner at Avada, Ryan Sumrak, Sales Consulting Manager with Oracle, and Ed Hayek, Cloud Solution Architect at Avada. Just a few housekeeping notes to call your attention to. All attendees are muted throughout the presentation, which is being recorded. If you do have questions, please submit them in the webinar side panel and we will respond via email after the presentation. Now I'd like to introduce Dwayne Hardiker, who will go over today's agenda and begin the presentation. Thanks, Deb. Hey, everyone. Thank you for uh, attending the webinar. I think we got some exciting information today. Um, I am going to go very quickly through and about Avada. Um, uh, I want to I want to get to the real fun stuff, and that is is what is Oracle's supply chain planning in the cloud solution today, and 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 for a lot of customers who are running on-premise VCP, looking at what the cloud offers, it, it provides you know that viable upgrade path, um, as well as you know it's, it's exciting. We're going to see some sneak previews of to what's What's coming in the in the future on some of this newer functionality with cloud? Um, so again, excited to have Ryan as a guest speaker and taking us through kind of that journey. And then we're going to go into some details around some of that capability in cloud and some of the migration strategies uh, with Ed Hayek. And then of course next steps. I will let the cat out of the bag. We are offering a, a free consultation around upgrade assessment, roadmap assessment, um, and we'll talk more of that, about that at the end of the presentation. So a little bit about Avada. Uh, you know, Avada's been a, an Oracle partner in the Oracle ecosystem for more than 15 years. Our DNA and foundation was built on supply chain manufacturing. Um, so that's a that's a cornerstone of who we are as a company, but as all companies, we've evolved. Uh, we launched a JD Edwards practice, and then now where we're at kind of as the tip of the the spear with cloud. We have you know we're we're all things cloud these days. While not letting go of our roots in supply chain, we have expanded our footprint um, that made logical extension, especially when you talk about how supply chains have become so financially driven. So scenario driven around key financials, cost to serve, total cost, um, and those things. So with that, we got into a lot of the enterprise uh, planning and budgeting and the EPM cloud space, as well as the ERP cloud space uh, with financials. So we have extended our footprint in that area. Um, what has made us kind of a leader in the cloud space is, next slide please, is because of our DNA and, and core area of supply chain, uh, some years back we were asked to become a co-development partner with Oracle in the you know supply chain cloud. Uh, so this was a, this was a great honor for us. And again, this has helped us not only see the vision, help be involved with this vision, but be a leader in the knowledge of of this cloud uh, the cloud supply chain solution. So. With that, I'm going to hand it over to, again, with great excitement, Ryan, thank you for joining us today. Everyone, Ryan Sumrak from Oracle. Thanks, Dwayne. Appreciate the introduction. Good morning, and uh, thank you again, everyone, for joining our webinar today. Again, my name is Ryan Sumrak with Oracle, and I'm a sales consulting manager for our Plan to Produce line of business. Our, uh, our plan to produce cloud suite at Oracle consists of our cloud applications in the areas of supply chain planning, manufacturing, maintenance, and even our new internet of things for asset and production monitoring. Uh, before we, we, we get started into the content, uh, I am required from our legal department to show our, our brief safe harbor statement since I will be discussing a couple of roadmap products um, coming, uh, coming here in the future. 
So today, Oracle as a company generates $40 billion in, in annual revenue. We, we are now the second largest company, software company in the world, and we invest over $5 billion annually in research and development. Oracle is using this $5 billion uh, for our strategic direction, which is to enable your organization's journey to the cloud. And we've been doing this for, for our supply chain customers um, in, a, in a context that's outlined in these three guiding principles to make supply chain planning simpler, i.e. making it the software just simply easier uh, to use and maintain, making the supply chain planning applications faster or making allowing you to make decisions more quickly and simply making them better so you understand the impact of your supply chain decision making more clearly. So these are three guiding principles that I'll be kind of touching on um, throughout the presentation and 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 re relating back to these items uh, as we get into the demonstration and talk about our roadmap. But let's before we get into that, let's start with a little bit of a of a supply chain planning software history lesson first. Um, supply chain planning really kind of really uh, um, uh, you know started to emerge in the in the early 1990s. ERP companies typically partnered with niche uh, APS vendors. APS meeting advanced planning and scheduling vendors like Manugistics or, or I2 Technologies, um, Numetrics or, or Legility were some examples. Then in the early 2000s, we saw a considerable amount of consolidations in the ERP space. Uh, so for example, when Oracle acquired PeopleSoft and, and JD Edwards in 2005. And we also saw that consolidation continue with some of the niche supply chain companies as well. Uh, SAP at that time came out with advanced planning and optimization or their APO product suite and Oracle introduced value chain planning or VCP. I2 uh, technologies and Manugistics were acquired by JDA and they're still owned by them today. And along the way, there are many new uh, applications that also sprung up like business intelligence or BI tools, master data management applications and, and product lifecycle management or PLM solutions started to emerge at that time. Um, and then moving into the into the 2010s and, and teens, we started to see many new cloud, you know, niche applications and companies uh, begin to spring up. Companies like Canaxis and Anaplan and SteelWedge came into the market. So for, for almost two decades now, Oracle has been developing and supporting a very deep um, and broad and, 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 and rather comprehensive planning uh, suite of solutions. Um, they have been designed to be on-premise or hosted to this, to, you know, up to this time. And our key development paradigm um, during that time was to be the foremost tool for planners with a heavy focus on the algorithms and the linear programs that went into the complex calculations that these systems were making for companies. Oracle started with a set of core applications such as MRP or material requirements planning and Oracle demand planning or ODP. Then that uh, expanded through collaboration with our customers. Our customers came to us and said, you know, we, we, we basically need more. We realized that some of these areas required specific knowledge and expertise. So Oracle uh, started acquiring applications. Um, that included the, the, the acquisition of Demontra and Numetrics through the JD Edwards acquisition back in the mid 2000s. As the footprint got bigger um, at, our, at our customers and, and our customers management teams wanted more visibility into the supply chain, analytics and sales and operations planning were designed to bring um, everything together and more, um, provide more of a metrics driven focus. Processing power, computing power gradually you know, increased and advanced during that time. And so we all then came out with in-memory applications that addressed uh, some of our customers need to help, help make decisions faster and produce plans much more quickly. So with all these applications being developed or acquired, the supply chain system topography over time became rather complex. There became the need to integrate data between ERP and the various supply chain uh, systems and solutions. This complexity also impacted planning cycle time duration. So for example, you know, sales forecasts generated one night in, in Demontra um, would then have to be passed to, to ASCP and MRP would be run the next day, resulting in, in a 48-hour cycle time for planning the entire supply chain. We realized this was a challenge and our customers needed to react faster. So this became a mission for Oracle to reduce the cost, the complexity, and this increased planning cycle time. We developed a unified supply chain management and planning and execution solution in the cloud. 
So over the last couple of years, Oracle has gotten off to a very fast start in the cloud. To date, we have helped over 25,000 customers begin their transition to the cloud with various software as a services, including infrastructure as a service for hardware, platform as a service for database and other types of technologies, middleware technologies, and software as a service, as I mentioned, for our applications. When looking at the supply chain, we have already helped and have helped customers uh, move to the cloud. We have to date over 3,000 customers uh, managing their inventory or sourcing and buying raw materials and procurement, taking sales orders and managing orders and order management in the cloud, shipping products um, and warehousing products in, in, in our logistics cloud applications, and even managing their production and, and managing their customer demand in the Oracle supply chain planning cloud today. So let's get into some of the details of the various supply chain planning cloud services that again, we have brought to market and are offering today. Once again, we have developed a, a suite of integrated supply chain cloud services, all working off the same data model, the same unified foundation. And embedded in these cloud services includes functions to support social collaboration, mobility, so you can access supply chain information on, on phones and iPads and other mobile devices, metrics and analytics, and a single security and process management data model. All of this in one central data model, one central database. I will demonstrate some of these new things to you here, here in a minute. But let's continue to talk about some of these particular applications that we have now in the cloud. So the first one I like to talk about is, is demand management cloud service. This, this is really very similar to Demantra. Um, so today in the, in, the, in the demand management cloud service, we can collaborate on our forecasts with various different sales groups. So for example, we can, we can work with sales, we can work with marketing, operations or production, or other key stakeholders can all work together in a collaborative demand planning environment um, in the cloud today. Each person having their own role, their responsibilities, their security, um, very similar to how we do things in Demantra today. We can also obviously statistically forecast the, uh, or generate the forecast, I should say, using historical sales or shipments. So similar to, to Demantra today, we use the, the Bayesian combination forecasting method where we blend the, out, the, the results of many models together, producing the, the most accurate statistical forecast possible. We took a lot of that, that advanced Demantra logic and built it into the new demand, demand management cloud service. We can even do advanced forecasting capabilities like incorporating causal factors and data elements that, that also might influence your sales, such as price or other types of, of, of sales events that is also offered in the cloud today. We can also uh, produce, uh, produce forecasts for new products. So when we have a new product and we have no sales history from that product, we can copy the history from a like product or a series of other like products. Um, and produce a, a forecast for new items that we've never sold before in the past. Very similar, again, to how we do things in the mantra today, but now we do those types of things in the cloud. The other module I like to talk about here, too, is sales and operations planning cloud service. So, again, this is similar, um, but it is different. It is similar, but different than the, the, the mantra real-time SNLP capabilities that we have and some of the capabilities we have in Snow. We have a few... Uh, major uh, stages for managing, or we can support, I should say, the major stages is for the SNLP process, like reviewing demand, supply, product, and financial reviews, all, all industry best practices. And we can even run simulations and, and show what, what if scenario is like during the SNLP executive review process. So we're really excited to have a, a, a cloud-based SNLP application that really replaces multiple um, on-premise applications that you might be using today for, for an SNLP process. And then the supply planning cloud service, very similar to ASCP or maybe even a, a JD Edwards MRP type of function you might be using today on premise. You can uh, you know, plan requirements for all materials, for work in process, for finished goods and a multi-site supply and production network. You can include outside processing or co-manufacturing that you might be again using in, in JD Edwards MRP or, or ASCP and eBusiness Suite today. I mean, but again, there are many differences I'll, I'll highlight later when we get to a demonstration here in a sec. Um, and then uh, the fourth module that we have offered today um, is supply chain collaboration cloud service. It's similar to collaborative planning in the business suite or 
or maybe even similar to JD Edwards supplier portal capabilities. This allows you to work more closely with your key suppliers, enable, enabling tighter control and communication on how material availability is being communicated um, between companies, between trading partners, a supplier and a manufacturer, if you will. Okay, so let's get into a demo. Let me show you what this stuff really looks like in it. And how it and how it and how it works, how it performs. Uh, what you're seeing here is a is a summary supply chain planning uh, dashboard in the Oracle Supply Chain Planning Cloud service. You can have your favorite tabs open across the top that you see. Um, you can have uh, you know some of your more critical metrics displayed in the form of what we call an info tile across the middle. So like revenue and margin forecast comparison, shipment forecast, mean absolute percentage here, or MAPE. Um, those types of things can be you know, configured and displayed on each user's dashboard. Um, and as you select each one of those input tiles, more information becomes visible for deeper analysis down below in the bottom half of the screen. I can start by reviewing a summary of our company's overall supply chain performance. Again, this summary dashboard is just one example and can be com completely configured to fit your needs. Um, in the first input tile, I'm able to visualize the expected revenue trends over the next few months. Currently, the plan is in balance, meeting our inventory, forecasts, objectives, um, revenue targets. But I can see in the second info tile, if you look closely there, my forecast comparison is a little off. I can see that the sales version of the forecast has gone up and is now higher than the current shipment um, or production version of the forecast. So let's now drill into that. We can click on that info tile. And it, sh again, shows me more information than I can see, you know, different information down the lower half of the screen. So in the SCP cloud, I'm able to simultaneously analyze trends and aggregate data um, without having to go to a separate BI or reporting system. All of my metrics and reports are right built into the application. I can see in the bar graph that the sales forecast for Vision Tablets is a little higher than my current shipment forecast down there in the right-hand corner where my little finger is pointing, right, the little arrow there. Um, I can see that that there's a gap in my vision forecast. So I'm going to select on that and drill down. So what's neat about this is that when I have a, a bar chart or a line graph or some sort of chart, I can click pretty much anywhere and drill down to more details. So I can drill down into the lowest level details I see here. So I'm going to drill down into item and organization by month to get to my underlying data. And so this is a screen that it might be very similar to, you know, that somehow you might be, look, you know, using in Demontra today or some other demand planning system. I can see shipment history and forecast for the SKU for that tablets category. Um, I can, again, tailor this worksheet to various um, different ways. I can look at it by week, for example, or, at, you know, at a higher level, or I can hide views and, or hide fields, I should say. And, you know, I can, you know, I can make adjustments to the forecast. I can change ex actual quantities. I can change by percentages. Very similar to how you do things in Demontra today. So it works just like a spreadsheet. Um, so jumping back then, um, I'm going to move ahead and take a look at another info tile I want to show you. So in this example, I have um, what we call a demand at risk. Okay. And here I can I can see that I have two and a half million dollars um, of demand at risk. This is again a potential problem um, due to a future potential lost sales. Again, this is a projection, right? This is what I'm projecting based on some sort of inventory shortage. So again, besides quantity, I can see dollar amount. Um, and we have new improved ways now uh, to, to analyze alerts for problem areas. Heat maps are an easy and informative way to drive attention and set priority. Um, and so I can see here that you know, this highly uh, visual uh, blue SKU under the vision tablets is, is causing the problem. So I can once again select that and drill down into my demand, demand fulfillment screen. And here I can see the details of the forecast that are at risk. So that $2.5 million is comprised of 14 different forecasts. This could have been orders. It could have been forecast. It, it is forecast, but it could have been a combination thereof too. I can see the customer. I can see the ship to location. I can see the order, the projected order, or I'm, I'm sorry, the revenue volume, the quantity, the unit of measure. I can see all the details of the forecast um, that I'm projecting to be at risk. So I'm going to collapse that and navigate down the screen and see the recommendations. Now, this is really exciting. This is the really neat stuff that we've built in Supply Chain Planning Cloud. I now get intelligent, guided resolution recommendations and how to resolve these demand at risk. I can see there are four large production orders that need to be expedited. And, and actually, if you look close, you can see that the SCP Cloud is also making suggestions or could also make suggestions 
about expediting purchases or inventory transfers or even adding manufacturing or supplier capacity as well. It can help make recommendations on what is the best option to resolve your demand at risk alerts that you have. As a planner, I can choose to accept um, you know, these recommendations or I can work with, work with each work order independently making adjustments to quantities or dates. So in this simple example, to keep, keep it moving here, I'm just gonna go ahead and accept um, these recommendations and say, yes, I do wanna expedite these, these planned orders by these days to help alleviate my demand at risk problem. So when I go back to my dashboard, I click on run, actions run to rerun the plan. So I'm gonna run like a, a simulation. I'm gonna rerun my supply chain plan in real time. And this comes back in a matter of minutes, okay? This is a very fast type of in-memory supply chain planning process. And this is a, a great example of Oracle Development's initiative to make better decisions faster. I can now run a supply chain plan and replan and simulate in minutes. This process no longer takes overnight and you, that you might be experiencing like an ASCP or maybe some of our other supply chain applications today. This is now a very, very fast process. Um, so the changes I can see were a success. The demand at risk for the shipping date have now dropped from over two and a half million to under 200,000. I could see from the heat map that my next vision, that my vision tablet SKU um, is no longer the problem. And my next two SKUs and the slim line, the slim line mini tablet product categories are the, are the next problems I have. But again, you know, my demand at risk has dropped from two and a half million to under 200,000. So again, let me summarize what we did here. In one user experience, I was able to review supply chain performance in my embedded dashboards, dashboards review and adjust various demand forecasts, review and adjust uh, my supply chain plan, and rerun my supply chain plan in real time. Folks, this would have taken four separate VCP modules, and it would have taken several hours to keep these modules integrated with the most recent data. So you can see why we're very excited to bring supply chain planning cloud to our customers in our marketplace. So um, some other just points I like to make here really quickly um, is, you know, they're, they're, in addition to the, just the increased usability and functionality, the cloud is, is quite simply much, much cheaper to maintain than legacy on-premise systems. The SCP cloud solution is unique that it's a single tenant solution. Other supply chain cloud providers, you know, provide multi-tenant, meaning they have one database for all of their customer data, right? Um, but your own database means more security, less risk. Um, it also means that you know you have much more reliable performance. It also means you can have flexible flexible upgrade windows as well. Integrated security strategy is 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 deployed across dozens of Oracle data centers around the world. So regardless of where your operations or your planning folks might be, we have we have global type of support. And so what does this mean to you, right? What does this really mean at the end of the day? Well, you no longer have to worry about the stressful and expensive upgrades of your, of your VCP systems ever again. No more database patches or application reinstallation processes or those crazy frequent Java updates that every PC connecting to ASCP or, or, or Demontra might, might require. Those just simply go away. With, with cloud, your upgrades, your upgrades are managed by Oracle and you're always on the latest release. So what we're saying here, folks, is that you migrate once and you never have to worry about upgrading ever again. Um, so again, cloud solutions are designed to be easier to use and maintain than traditional on-premise counterparts. Our single unified data model and user experience makes training of end users and IT support staff easier and much less time consuming. The interactive embedded analytics makes the process of planning, analyzing, and decision-making much, much more efficient and expensive and time-consuming integrations are reduced, um, which has an impact on the effort it takes to maintain the cloud systems in the future. So again, a little bit about our roadmaps, um, where we're at today. So again, what I've showed you today is, is release 13, update 17D for, again, that encompasses demand management, supply planning, sales and operations planning, and supply chain collaboration cloud. Um, Again, this came out last year, and we have a very aggressive and interesting roadmap coming at us. In the near future, we're gonna have um, expanded our product line to include integration to eBusiness Suite and offerings, new offerings such as replenishment planning, constraint-based planning, and production scheduling. So let's take a, a deeper look um, at those new roadmap items, and I'll show you what, what's coming here uh, in, the, in the near future. So again, these are futures, um, and, uh, and constraint planning, uh, supply planning is coming, 
coming soon. With constrained planning, you'll be able to automate the evaluation of alternatives, such as secondary or tertiary uh, production resources, suppliers, um, alternate components or finished goods when your primary options are capacity constrained. So it's very similar to how you might be using ACP today. These constrained bottlenecks can be evaluated at various levels of detail. Quicker simulations are now possible um, on a subset of your supply chain. This is something that many of our ACP customers have been looking for for a very long time. So we're very excited to be able to bring this to them. Um, another uh, application that we're excited about is production scheduling cloud. This is also um, coming soon. So for manufacturers or co-manufacturers um, that want to improve supply chain efficiency and, 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 uh, and utilize interactive slotting and advanced sequencing of work orders, there's a powerful Gantt chart similar to our, very similar to our production scheduling on-premise application today. But you'll make the, 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 you'll help make the scheduler's job in his life, his or her life easier um, as we can automatically sequence the most efficient way to minimize setups and changeovers while prioritizing service levels, but, in, but at the same time respecting resource capacity. So again, for, 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 uh, for manufacturers with constraints, shop floor constraints, where you're trying to sequence, this is, this is a, a strong application for you that's coming soon. And then uh, replenishment planning. Um, uh, so um, coming soon too uh, is a way for help to help, uh, to help you optimize inventory levels um, through advanced techniques like segmentation, um, respecting and understanding future customer demands and target service levels. For those of you that might be uh, familiar with eBusiness Suite inventory optimization, um, eBusiness uh, or DRP, this replenishment planning cloud service can help map or will, will map to those functions found in those applications. But you can see from our screenshot on the right that it's a much more powerful way to plan, strategize, and monitor the inventory throughout the supply chain. And then lastly, uh, vendor managed inventory on the supply side is, is another cloud service coming soon. Our initial focus will be on, again, on supply side, allowing our suppliers to manage component inventory or raw materials for us, us being the manufacturer or the consumer of this inventory, of course. So another uh, interesting application coming uh, soon to help better manage inventory. So I know I've rushed through a lot of these future cloud service applications, but we have a lot to cover in a short amount of time. My goal was to provide you some information on why you should be considering moving towards the Oracle Supply Chain Planning Cloud. Uh, but now I'm gonna turn it over to, to Ed Hayek, my colleague at Avada, and he will explain how you can begin your journey to the Oracle SCP Cloud. So take it away, Ed. Thank you, Ryan, uh, very much for that uh, um, overview, introduction, and, and especially the preview uh, section, I think, uh, uh, I think that's some very exciting stuff. That, uh, that Oracle has planned coming out uh, going forward. Um, so uh, let's go into a little bit of the um, uh, some some recommended strategies, I think, uh, and and potential opportunities uh, as you take a look at the value chain planning uh, current status of, of maybe your value chain planning uh, tools and, pro and processes around planning, uh, and how to migrate to the uh, supply chain management cloud. A few years back, maybe more than a few, uh, they had uh, a famous quote by, by Mr. Neil Armstrong, right? You know, where landing on the moon, he said that's that's you know one one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Uh, and uh, when I took a look at when I take a look at say upgrade strategies, right, from uh, from the past, right, say in the the 90s and last couple of decades, really upgrades of of tool sets have have been more of a a uh, a, a very long term or long range view process right around if you're looking at an upgrade it's a very big giant leap of an upgrade every seven maybe ten years right it's a, a huge you know potentially multi-year project versus uh, what the cloud technology and what Oracle's uh, cloud technology has, has uh, kind of brought forth and this does and can change the game uh, for you in uh, in looking at upgrades and really from one one central aspect meaning by adopting uh, oracle's you know cloud solutions and and uh, transforming processes to, to use you know standard functionality within the software um, adding on where needed right and extending where needed but effectively instead of a large upgrade every so many years you can take advantage of 
continuous improvement, small steps every quarter, right? You know, when, when Ryan mentioned the latest release of uh, R13, release 17 D is and dog, right? You know, the, 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 the letter designations, right, are, are standard for ABCD, right? Once a quarter type upgrade. So really one small step every quarter, take advantage of a continuous improvement process as new functionality comes online, you know, inventory management, you know, the, the uh, um, production scheduling type things, you can start taking advantage of those right away without a large multi-year or every, every so many years type project. Now, one chart that Ryan showed earlier on as well was is kind of the uh, um, uh, how Oracle developed its uh, intellectual property around value chain planning, right? You know, so they had um, you know some core acquisitions, right? You know, and and uh, and some additional development on top of that platform. And what Oracle really uh, really took uh, as a project was how to translate. Uh, that uh, you know those best practice processes that, that they've learned over the years over the, the different platforms, the intellectual property like, say the the, the, the demand management or or Demantra uh, statistical engine, right? You know how to apply those things into the cloud. And really, what they did was take all that proven technology, those those proven methods that have worked well in the past, and applied them into cloud. And so so really in, in the cloud platform, it's it's not. It, it's a new wrapper. It's it's a new technology that, that really changes the way you you do business, but it's based on proven technology. Okay, so it's not uh, not necessarily all brand new. And where Avada can come in, and I think help uh, with with what Oracle has kind of coined the last upgrade you will need and uh, in, in getting to the cloud. Uh, really, what what we've what we've kind of come come up with is is a couple of uh, um, a couple of, of programs to help. To help customers uh, get there more quickly, and uh, where there are, uh, you know, potential differences between requirements versus current availability of, of functionality, we, we actually have what, what's known as the Avada Express Cloud, and, and really this kind of encapsulates some of the uh, um, uh, applying some of our, our tried and true processes of implementation to the cloud projects, as well as uh, developing uh, unique software tools and extensions to the cloud software to help bridge the timeline between when, uh, if you're using a, a current functionality like, say, um, you know, constraint optimization, right? If you're using that today and it's a big thing that, that you're, it's used today, we developed a, a, a tool basically to extend cloud functionality to include some of that uh, constraint-based uh, planning as well. And I'll, give, I'll show you a little bit of that a little bit later. We've also have uh, have developed an enterprise integration platform uh, in the form of eLink, and really what this is 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 a, a, a way to kind of describe the uh, um, number of pre-built integration tools to, to help connect the cloud to your legacy ERP systems, and uh, and also uh, help figure we help formulate some accelerated processes. So if you're a current user of say Demantra. Uh, we have an, mapped out an accelerated process where you to uh, fairly efficiently look at the decisions made in that Demantra implementation, figure out which ones make most sense to translate, which ones might need some changes based on what you know now, and very rapidly move you into the cloud platform from that on-premise solution. The whole idea behind these two tools is to help you lower your cost, both in dollars and time, and reduce the risk of, of the project project success, basically. So, in looking at the tools, one thing I wanted to kind of kind of add on uh, to, to some of what, what Ryan was showing earlier is uh, when you're if you're using uh, advanced supply chain planning oracles, advanced supply chain planning tool today, uh, something that you've you probably noticed is is over the last couple of years, Oracle has done a very good job, I think, of helping homogenize the interface. So the interface of ACP now looks a lot like uh, the Oracle Cloud. And so the way you navigate, the way that uh, some metrics are built into the interface to help uh, um, assess overall health and then get down into details fairly quickly, that, that part of that process is, is something that they've built into ASCP, frankly, in part to help the transition to cloud, make that transition easier for the users. And so, the other thing I'll point out, along with Ryan, you know, pointing out that rapid simulation capability available in the cloud, just one of the feature I wanted to point out is within uh, within the supply planning cloud, um, there is the concept of the side-by-side -side plan comparisons, right? So 
one thing that was in ASCP was the concept of multiple scenario plans, right? Uh, in the cloud, there's actually the capability built in of the side-by-side -side plan comparison as well. So as you run your simulations, you can look exactly where those differences are between the two plans and uh, make the appropriate and informed decisions. Now, one future function that the Oracle pointed out was in the uh, um, in, in the form of um, advanced production scheduling or, or, a, or a scheduling tool to help with uh, sequencing and, and moving um, moving things back and forth in a graphical interface. Uh, it's one of those things where if you are using that functionality today, ASCP, you know, also along with production scheduling, ASCP also has that drag and drop in the Gantt chart functionality as well. If that's something that you're using today and you're wanting to move to cloud now or very soon, we actually have a, a, a solution uh, that can help with that. And this is some, one of those things where we, uh, as Avada, sort of built an Avada scheduling board on top of Oracle technology, basically, to help offer this um, as a bridge, right, for our customers where they wanted to move to cloud now, uh, but they really wanted that Gantt chart view as well. So instead of waiting uh, necessarily, they can get some of that functionality now with an, with an Oracle extension. And what it looks like, right, is, is, is just that, right, a Gantt chart view that can be uh, dragged and dropped, color-coded, right, to signify, you know, to, to point out to the uh, um, uh, manufacturing scheduler, you know, what, uh, where, where to maybe look at first. And really, you know, the, the, this is something where, where the tool offers a lot of uh, flexibility, basically both in, uh, in, in how you accomplish your work, right? A lot of different uh, uh, key performance indicators, custom configured key performance indicators for highlighting things that are important to you. And, uh, and also, um, you know, doing some of that sequencing, uh, heavy lifting, so that, uh, so that you're truly managing the exceptions. Again, uh, as, as one of our, our tools developed uh, to add on to Oracle software, right, this can be deployed in both the platform as a service or infrastructure as a service type model. So depending on your architecture, you can be very flexible in helping apply this. Another area, right, that, that Ryan talked about, right, is, is the uh, a more sophisticated uh, inventory policy uh, setting and or planning tools uh, that are coming out uh, basically. If inventory optimization, or um, or or you've been use if you or if you've been using some more sophisticated inventory planning calculations than currently available in the cloud, um, really Avada has a solution right for for you that we developed again developed on Oracle technology right available in the cloud uh, where where we can help with uh, some of the more critical inventory management functions, particularly with uh, say rebalancing recommendations. Um, assuring that the uh, and also assuring that that you're using the appropriate uh, inventory uh, stock setting uh, formulas, basically taking into account both variability as of supply and demand, as well as uh, uh, lead times, cost levels, you know, other factors. Basically, you can pull some different levers to help uh, optimize or or help manage your uh, total inventory investment, and uh, with that lower inventory, uh, have the right parts at the right place at the right time, right, to reach your service level commitment. Another tool that I'm, that I'm kind of really excited to, to talk about as well is uh, with related to um, constraint-based uh, planning, okay? Uh, with, with the current Oracle Cloud tool, uh, there, are, there are methods uh, available to, to manage your constraints, to be aware of constraints, and, and use those alerts to help uh, manipulate the plan. The nice thing about the current cloud tool is you can manipulate the plans quite quickly. With this tool, what uh, what we've what we've done is we've built on uh, Oracle's network optimization tool and plugged it into uh, and, and integrated it with the cloud so that you can take advantage of a true optimization tool to help uh, to help look at um, you know multiple levels within your supply chain and see where um, uh, effectively where where you might be able to tweak. Uh, your supply chain design and or route materials basically in a way that provides you with either your highest service level, greatest profits, right, a mix therein, something along those lines. So so really what, what this offers is, is a, 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 a sort of uh, Avada developed front end uh, to help uh, marry those two tools up and, and give you a solution where if, you've, if you're using constraint-based uh, optimization or today, 
this is a tool that can help you shift over to the cloud now and uh, and still take advantage of uh, constraint optimization algorithms. So that was all. That, that, that's the supply planning side. Let's talk a little bit about forecasting and uh, and demand management. Again, similar to ASCP, the, the other thing Oracle has been doing with the mantra over the past couple of years, especially, is is really transforming the interface, right? To to for people that you're using the mantra to look and feel, uh, you know, more and more like cloud, okay? And, and again, this is to help ease the transition, right, as people might move from Dematra to demand management cloud. One thing I'll point out is, um, is that as such, with the technology leverage between Dematra and demand management cloud, one thing that uh, the Nevada has developed is a streamlined approach to transferring uh, what you're doing in Dematra today to that new cloud tool. And really, with Avada's um, proven methodology, okay, with, uh, you know, with the analysis, the vision, right, through uh, and all through adoption, what we've done is we figured that uh, we can spend a, uh, some focus up front in the project to determine uh, really which demantra setups or which demand, you know, demand planning setups translate one-to-one uh, -one into, de into the DM cloud which ones the customer over, over their use of Demantra might want to change uh, based on our expertise on best practices and also based on lessons learned, right, as you've been using the Demantra tool. And so what, we, what this program can do is really greatly reduce the time and cost of, of sort of lifting your uh, uh, planning process out of Demantra and pushing it into the DM cloud. Uh, where they're really, you know, something where anything reusable is not thrown away, right? We can configure sort of that one for one. Uh, and if there are some, you know, very intricate or, or you know, custom, you know sort, sort of uh, highly intricate uh, configurations, we can analyze, right, whether the DM cloud functionality might obviate the need for some of those or how they would translate in, right, during that upgrade process. And we call this the Avada Cloud Transition Program or ACT program for value chain planning. The other area of Demantra, right, that, that we know there is a, uh, a fair number of users uh, relates to the trade promotions. And, and, uh, and again, trade promotions is an area where Oracle is still developing uh, that area uh, to, to be released in the future. If you want to move today, though, uh, we do have a, uh, again, a, a link between uh, the trade promotion management uh, um, software of today to the cloud as well. And so what, what really this offers is, is sort of the best of both worlds. You get to do your trade, pro trade promotion management as well as feed that into the uh, Oracle Cloud solution so that, uh, so that really you're taking advantage of um, keeping that trade promotion requirements alive and being able to take advantage of the new functionality available in the cloud, Oracle, Oracle's Cloud tool. We call this the Trade Promotion Management Express, and this is part of our, um, part of our Avada Express offering as well. Moving into sales and operations planning, you know, another area that, uh, that, that there is a, a, a fair size install base right uh, today using the, the RTSOP uh, area uh, base effectively and how that might translate into the sales and operations planning cloud, right? So, um, so really what, what we're looking at here is, is Avada Sales and Operations Planning Express as a, as a program to help, help uh, um, make that transition more efficient. And really the idea behind this is, is uh, Avada over the years uh, and in, con in consultation with uh, industry experts, right? Uh, we've, we've developed a, uh, um, a best practice, right? SNOP process and embodied that in sort of predefined templates, right? Behind the key process steps, right? Between demand supply and budget reviews. And really what, uh, uh, what I'm excited to say is based on the new cloud SNOP technology, okay, um, along with, uh, you know, sort of identifying and connecting those extracts and having an efficiency tool to help you do that, right, now, now there is uh, the capability to take advantage of the cloud sales and operations planning area, which um, really offers a, uh, a much more robust um, set of process enablement tools uh, and uh, and really provides a, a platform that I that, that in, in my opinion and experience 
really um, really encapsulates the needs of the SNOP process between uh, communications available uh, within the tool, the process um, uh, the process map uh, basically and status as as you go through the process, and then of course using the uh, um, sort of predefined templates as well uh, within there to, um, to to really communicate what's going on with the plan, what that means to each of the stakeholders within the plan, and uh, really facilitate efficient uh, efficient and informed decisions within each step of the process, SNOP process. And something that, uh, that I, I really like to point out um, and emphasize when talking about Oracle's uh, cloud is the Oracle social collaboration aspect. Um, really, this, is, this, in my opinion, takes the Oracle cloud solution up to the next level of, uh, of uh, uh, performance and, and interconnecting uh, your, your various stakeholders and, and key, uh, key stakeholders group within the SNOP process. And really, what it provides is, is a layer of the platform where, um, where you can communicate, uh, have those communications attached to the plans or different plan areas of the planning cycle for future reference, uh, annotate documents for later review, and really uh, break down uh, you know, the communication barriers, not just between departments, but between whatever communication tool you're using today, maybe it's Outlook, maybe it's an, an, a different instant messaging tool. Um, actually, I've, I've, I've been to client sites where they've had Three instant mess three different instant messaging tool and Outlook being being utilized in their planning process. This can bring all that into one area, a single source of truth for the communications that build up and that that are um, active during the process that culminate in that final SNOP plan. One more thing that I'd like to that I'd like to point out uh, here as we're um, coming coming toward the end is um, really, I want to dig you a little bit more detail into what Avada's uh, um, e-link really represents. And in, in this case, um, really what I wanted to point out is what we've done as, as a consultant really is, is bring together in under one integration platform some of the very uh, some some key areas of, of focus for any uh, any project, especially projects going to the cloud, and and first of all, uh, with Master Data Management Wizard, okay, this can help uh, help with consolidation, cleansing, uh, and uh, uh, really any kind of augmentation necessary for master data, transactional data, uh, any kind of any kind of inputs from disparate systems that might need to be synchronized. Uh, brings this brings the tool set uh, to bear to help with that uh, match data management. So as you consider moving uh, from your current platform into the cloud, this is one area that that you definitely want a key focus on. This is the opportunity to clean up some of those uh, some of those errors of the past and do so in a way that will help facilitate better planning, better functionality in the future. Uh, the other thing I'll point out is is kind of the uh, um, adapters, right? When we're talking about uh, moving to the cloud, uh, there's there's a couple ways. One is uh, one way is kind of the hybrid approach, right, where you move parts of your process and/or business over to the cloud, uh, keeping keeping some other areas on premise, right. So so adapters between those legacy ERP systems and the cloud are, are highly important. So so what we do is is leverage. Uh, um, leverage and augment, right? You know the the uh, various methods to pull in data to the cloud, and then of course transmit data out of the cloud into the execution systems. Then there's also something uh, particular to to our customers with uh, with JD Edwards. Uh, basically, there's there, we have a sourcing and contracts integration tool, where uh, this is kind of a, a configured link between JDE. And cloud procurement, where we can really uh, help um, help with uh, those folks using JDE fill critical gaps, right? Uh, while making that transition to using the cloud for this function uh, much more efficient and uh, cost effective. And then we tell we talk briefly a little bit about the, the cloud transition tool, and this is really one of the areas where um, kind of that that fourth uh, you know that fourth leg of, of the table, uh, effectively, where um, really what we've done is we've Taken, uh, taken our knowledge of value chain planning, our knowledge of cloud, and married the two to help make transition between the two 
you know, from one to the other as efficient uh, and, uh, and timely as possible. And so, uh, uh, as we start conclusions, uh, basically, one thing I want to point out is, you know, right, with Oracle Cloud Technology, Avada expertise in and uh, our own sort of uh, Skunk Works software development area in, in the form of Avada Express tools, and then the eLink platform to help help marry everything together uh, between uh, between on-premise and cloud and, and uh, working between the two. You've got a very solid cloud foundation uh, with, with the Oracle and Avada partnership. And I'll repeat the offer uh, up front that, uh, that Dwayne mentioned around a cloud readiness consultation. Um, this, is a, this is a free service that, uh, that we're happy to provide um, to, uh, uh, to customers where we can take a look at uh, really, you know, your process maturity, um, the, the current tool set and architecture of those tools uh, that you're using today and, and help, um, help you uh, build a case around, you know, what is the appropriate uh, move, right, from on-premise to the cloud. When, you know, what, when, and, uh, and, and the timing, right? So that's, uh, I'll repeat that. And really the cloud readiness assessment is just one part of Avada's cloud roadmap um, a set of, of solutions and tools, right? So from the readiness assessment, right, to, to take a look at sort of the risk analysis and, and figure out how you how roadmap for a transformation. Um, the uh, uh, next stage, right, would be coming up with the more holistic approach, right? What is What would be more the more detailed implementation strategy? On to um, whether or not current cloud functionality fits everything that's needed, or maybe maybe we can have uh, some of our pre-built adapters or um, or accelerated solutions basically get you to the cloud more quickly, uh, and and then as those tools come online in the standard functionality, make the decision of of shifting from those extensions over to the standard functionality, and then cloud managed services is a, a, again a service we provide uh, to um, really help uh, help with the transition, help with the um, uh, getting your company up and running quickly on on the cloud, and then during that maintenance time, right? You know, dur during those those months and years after you move to the cloud, just providing that extra layer of support uh, that, that that you might need to uh, um, keep that transition smooth and keep on that uh, improvement path over time. So, final thoughts. Uh, one, um, the, this new Oracle Cloud Platform really provides the opportunity to migrate once. And then take on those those uh, uh, incremental or continuous improvement steps instead of that sort of repeated uh, serial cycle of giant leaps from time to time. Choose wisely uh, is the next thing. Where really with Avada's uh, cloud roadmap, uh, one with our our free assessment that, that maybe, maybe that can help uh, kickstart the thinking around cloud, or maybe uh, bridge some areas where where you might not be sure. And really help you determine that best path or, or you know, best upgrade path based on uh, what your current uh, situation is. And when you're asking the question of when do I do this, right? You know, I, I, I'll, I'll forward the opinion that uh, the time is now. Um, between Oracle's uh, high rate of investment in their cloud tools, the way that, that those tools are continuously upgraded once a quarter, basically they're coming out with with different and new and novel functionality. Uh, and Avada, between our, our expertise across industries, our expertise with the, with the software packages that you have today and might be considering for the future, uh, along with our integration platform and express applications, right? We can help bridge uh, your path to the cloud today. So with that, um, we'll talk uh, a little bit about next steps and we'll hand it over to Deb. Thank you, Ed. Next up in our cloud webinar series is a presentation on managing order commit using Oracle GOP Cloud, which takes place on February 27th. Please register for that at our website. And finally, I'd like to uh, thank Duane, Ryan, and Ed for their time today and sharing their insights. Uh, we invite you all to contact us, visit our website, and follow us on social media. For those of you that submitted questions today, we will be reaching out to you soon. Thank you all for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day.